I'm Caitlin O'Keefe, Director of Marketing here at Planetary Resources. And on our channel today, we're going to talk about some of the most amazing observation technologies that we're innovating on right here in Redmond, Washington at our Asteroid Mining Spacecraft Factory. Observation technologies are extremely important to our prospecting missions. In order to understand the composition of the asteroid targets that we're going after to mine in our solar system, we need to know exactly what they're made of from up close. So in order to do that, we need to create some cost efficient and extremely innovative technologies that can venture out to the many asteroids in our solar system that we are targeting to mine for things like water, platinum, and other metals. I'm in charge of the cameras and sensors that are required to understand how much water an asteroid has, what material it's tied up in, is it ice, is it hydrated mineral like clay, um, and then understanding like how would you access it and things like that. This is the Planetary Resources Optical Laboratory. Let's go learn something. This is where we do a lot of the test setups and testing of the optics that we build here. Right now, I've got this set up as a star simulator, so it's, a, it's just a telescope we run backwards. So it makes it look as if you have a point of light, like a star, infinitely far away. Then, this section here is what we've done for a, a test of a small instrument that we would like to field, and we're investigating how well it would work to tell, help us tell a lot more about the asteroids once we get to them. Mm. What it is, is it's called an imaging spectrograph. And it will take a picture, but instead of just being like red, red, green, and blue, it'll be all the colors. And then you can tell the difference between the different kinds of rocks, different kinds of materials that you find on an asteroid. And so what we've got here is we have the light coming out of the telescope this way. It strikes here, comes to a focus, and the grating then makes the spectrum that you would be able to image with your detector right here. The first missions that we are going to do are going to be to go out and check out specific asteroids and guarantee the quantities of water that we think are going to be accessible. And the way that optical and observation technologies will allow us to fulfill our mission goals, the same technology can be applied to other industries who can use it to thrive in new and interesting ways. This is a toxic algae bloom in Lake Erie. It was found by using hyperspectral imaging to understand the tiny differences in color between different kinds of algae. This is the same technique we will use to detect and characterize the amount of water on asteroids. I believe very sincerely that humanity's future lies in space. And using in situ resources, asteroids for fuel, radiation shielding, dirt, whatever it is you need to use the asteroids for, is going to be absolutely key to the future success of the human race.